Hey guys, I'm the Penny Pinching Prepper and welcome to my channel. Um, hope I find everybody in good spirits today. Um, got a quick, kind of easy topic to go over today. Um, one I feel rather strongly about, but I thought I'd share it with y'all. Um, but before I do, if you've uh, been with me for a while, consider going down there and give me a thumbs up. Um, for the rest of you, if I'm just meeting you for the her first time, um, please, by all means, kick back and enjoy the video. Um, today's topic is going to be about holsters. Um, I know everybody's heard and gone over and it's like beating an old horse, but we all have our opinions. And to be honest with you, I, I would like to recommend a really good brand. Um, I have opinions. I have an opinion when it comes to holster and several other things that um, that falls underneath the category of buy once, cry once. Um, it's one of those things that nine times out of ten, uh, if you try to go cheap with something like a holster, um, you're just not going to want to wear your firearm. Um, so. Uh, the whole point I guess I'm, I'm trying to get at is a lot of people, you know, they, they get their first firearm or second or third or maybe all of them. They, they go out and get something like this. Now, I like to call these little things constitutional cozies and they, they come like this or some of them come with a, a magazine up front. And the reason I call them constitutional cozies is because I actually store these in you know with the the pew pew inside of it in my lockers um because it you know keeps dust from getting in and and you know keeps them all warm and fuzzy and clean and nice and you know pretty uh anyways forgive me for going on that little tangent there um but nine times out of ten if you get one of these you hardly ever wear it. it it's like a chore to wear it it's like you've got to remind yourself oh yeah i've got to put that thing on um and when you do a lot of times you wear it for an hour or two and you're like this is uncomfortable and i just want to take it off <laughs> um my wife she's one of those people she's she's uh frugal in a lot of areas so she just can't see spending the money she doesn't understand it she's never had a nice holster to to grasp the concept and no matter how much i beat her with it she just refuses to get a nice holster so this one right here is actually hers um as you can see looks almost brand new doesn't it she never uses it um so a lot of times when you do that, you're like, okay, I'll, I'll step it up a little bit. I'll go and I'll get something else. Um, uh, the next steps up would be something like um, uh, a We The People holster. Now, don't get me wrong. Great holsters, especially for outside the waist. Um, not so much for inside the waist, but definitely for outside the waist. Um, When you go all Kydex, um, it can feel weird up against you unless you have a, a clothing layer. So let's say it's summer outside and you don't, you know, want to wear more than one top, you know, like just a t-shirt shirt, or maybe just a long sleeve shirt. You don't want to wear a t-shirt and a hoodie. Um, it can, it can irritate your skin after a while. It just, it, it can feel really uncomfortable. Those of you who have tried it, you're probably thinking in the back of your head, yeah, I'm right. Is it tolerable? Can they be somewhat comfortable? Yes, at the end of the day, yeah, they can be. But deep down in the back of your head, I bet you you're thinking, if I have to have Kydex up against my skin for six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours, um, depending on, you know, how long you're gone during your day, um, 
that certain things like sweat and uh, dirt and grime, anything that can work its way between that kydex and your belly is going to be irritating. And um, I'm just going to I'm going to stick to that because I know I've experienced it and I've heard many of other people complain about it. So you can go even further up and let's say, um, you know, like uh, I've got here, this is actually a pretty expensive holder holster. This is my thigh holster or drop holster and it's put out by Blackhawk. It's a three stage security holster okay um love this thing but it is so rigid i mean it has no move no play no nothing to it that and, and i'm not talking about the drop part even when i wore it up on my hip it, it always seemed like i had this thing poking me in my side this brick you know nudging in I mean, yeah, the, the corners are rounded very nicely and, and all that kind of stuff, but it, it just, I don't know. It, it's hard for me to explain it. It just wasn't that comfortable. Um, so not saying that, uh, you know, more expensive holsters can't have their faults and lay downs too. Um, but what I ended up finding was the most comfortable are holsters like this. They're uh, hybrid holsters, crossbreed holsters, whatever. It's where it has leather on the back. You can see that it's, it's bending and it's starting to form to my shape. That's going to tell you I got a little bit of a belly. <laughs> um... And when you look at it compared to like an all Kydex holster, all right, you'll you'll see that that nice flatness and um, the the fact that it, it even looks thinner and more sleek. It, it's because of the way the the leather forms and confirm you know just forms on you and everything is is just just great and. It doesn't take up the same amount of space that an all kydex holster does. Now, there are some that are slimmer than others, but <clears throat> I'm telling you, once you have a, uh, a hybrid holster of some sort, now this is the company Crossbreed. Um, I highly recommend them. They're a awesome, awesome company. I'm not affiliated with any manner whatsoever, but... About a month after the scare with the whole, um, uh, oh, I can't remember what department it was, but they were basically wanting to know from the holster companies, uh, you know, um, how many holsters they were selling, who they were selling them to, addresses, what kind of holster or what kind of uh, pew went in the holster. Was it left-handed? Was it right-handed? They wanted to know all of this information. It basically created not only a registry, but an in, de in detailed registry. Um, because even like uh, uh, natu natural, natural, uh, national registries they don't know if you're left-handed or right-handed <laughs> they they don't know those little things that could if they come after you uh saves in a second you know because now they got the drop they know which way that you're gonna pull from they're they're able to shave a few seconds off and get to you first because they know which way you're gonna draw from they're able to plan it all out better uh and uh, that might sound silly, but it's the truth of the matter. But about a month after that all came out, I actually called the company, um, asked them about it, and they had not complied. Um, they were planning on taking the, the hit, um, which wasn't that big of a hit, so that's great um, that they're not going to suffer that bad for their decision. But let me tell you a little something about this company, all right? <clears throat> 
They are a 100% made, manufactured, and sourced in American company. All right. They are a family-owned business. It is a Christian-related family. In fact, that's that's why it's called crossbreed, and it even bears a big old cross on it. All right, it's not because it's half leather, half kydex. That was just a cool word play um, that they were able to mix into it. But really, what they were trying to do um, is say that they're a a christian uh company and uh they actually if you ever go read about in their details um on their website you, you might get a kick out of it because uh <laughs> it's it's really quite interesting how far they're willing to stand up for what they believe in um the other thing is is uh has a lifetime warranty on it it has a i believe it's a either a 30 day or a 90 day I, I can't remember which but one of the two exchange so for if any reason you decide that you don't like the holster you can actually exchange it for something else um i believe don't quote me on it that might even even include cash back don't quote me on the cash back part but um, they will definitely say, you know, well, if you don't like this holster, what do you think about trying this holster? Um, because they really, really do want to make you happy, happy at this company. Um, the other thing is, is they have a really cool motto. Holster came with this bag. All right. Really nice little bag. And uh, on the back, it has a motto. Now, I haven't figured out how to reverse the camera yet. So bear with my horrible reading guys please all right but i really do want to read this to you i pledge to uphold the second amendment and i cherish the freedoms bestowed upon me as an american i will use this crossbreed holster to help me protect the um ah uh, sorry this word always gets me. Holster to help me protect those. Oh, okay. So, Crosby holster to help me protect those precious, I know, but it's a word that gets me. Precious freedoms. I pray that no harm befalls my country or my family but in but if faced with evil i will have the courage to stand against it i will always or i will allow no harm to come to myself or my loved ones god bless on every holster you order they send one of these out they don't care who you are i mean they really are willing to stand up for what they believe in um the other thing when you order it i don't know about the ones that you can buy i'm sure that they do but it'll come with extra parts and, and stuff in case it wears down and tools if it requires it. Not all of their holsters require tools. Some of them are all leather. Some of them are half kydex, half leather. Um, this particular one is called the Reckoning Holster. I love this holster. It's a great holster. It's an inside and outside the waistband. Um, it's modular. Um, in that aspect and in the fact that it's one of the ones where you can attach the uh, the magazine holder to it really great one but they have a huge variety of just about anything you can think of from chest holsters to you know hip holsters to appendix inside outside um, you know uh, ankle belly they, they they cover it all um 
the other thing is is I can guarantee you for myself that they do um, uphold their warranty and their guarantee to make you happy. And, and here's my story with Crossbreed, why I'm I'm basically advertising them without even you know being affiliated or getting anything out of it. Um, it's more of a thank you to them because of the fact that they've already done so much for me. So I ordered this holster online, and um, when I ordered it, at that time, they did not have their own claw system. Now, if you're not familiar with what a claw system is, this is it right here. It, it helps to push um, the handle of the firearm more up against you so you don't print so much. Um, so they were recommending another company, which was also a Christian company, um, um, I'm not going to get into that one, but I'm just saying that one stuck out like, like that far. It, it really stuck out. And what was happening was there was so much leverage when I tightened my belt pushing up against it that right through here along that seam, it was cracking. All right. So I call them up and they're like, okay, send it in. We'll send you a new one. I was a little disappointed in that because I don't like sending the only good holster I have away. And then I have to, you know, well, you, you know my story, um, how I feel about lesser holsters. Um, but I did it. And it took about a week and a half for it to get there, get done, get back. It, it A little bit long, but not that bad, especially since it was actually during the pandemic. Um, so I get it back and I'm happy other than the fact that they didn't just replace the Kydex. They gave me brand new leather too, okay? Um... I found that I didn't like that <laughs> because this leather is very thick. It takes a while for it to start molding and forming its shape to where it's comfortable against you. And um, because it takes so long, um, yeah, that was not something I wanted to go through again. Um, so I set it up. And I put the same uh, other claw on, and it happened again. And so I call him up at this time, and I say, look, I, I love this holster. It's so comfortable. It works great. Everything's awesome. But it cracked again in the same place. And so I gave him a more in-depth detail of what I thought was going on, and... I, I told him that I'm I'm on a fixed income. I don't have a lot of money to be throwing around, and it I don't have another holster that I can wear. Why it's missing for a week and a half, two weeks? I, I don't have that privilege. And um, the the person on the end of the phone was very understanding and uh, compassionate to my needs and so what they actually did was they uh went ahead and sent me a whole second holster and not only did they do that um they had at that point by that time started selling their own um claw they threw it in for free. I didn't have to pay anything for it for my inconvenience. But like I said, they actually sent me a whole second holster. And as you can see, this one is still looks pretty much brand new. And uh, so what I did was, like I said, this particular one is designed to be inside and outside. Is So I took the old one that... It's designed to be for the outside and the clips actually um, attached to the back and it allows it to sit outside of your clothes in 
a couple of different spots. Um, it's not comfortable to go in all spots, but it gives you a, a few comfortable spots to have outside the waistband. Um, and so all I did was where it cracked, I went and JB welded it, you know, me and my JB weld and, and just, you know, made it look black and put these ones on the back because I knew that it was not going to crack there again, no matter what, because I wasn't using that same um, claw anymore that they recommended, you know, it was on their website, they recommended it. Um, and also at that point, they had upgraded the Kydex. So the Kydex is changed. Um, it's a stronger, better, thicker Kydex on their newer holsters that they have switched to. But this one is still great for outside the waistband. No problems. This this one, I'll, I'll never worry about it cracking again, ever. Um, so I actually now have an outside and inside the waistband holster for my firearm just because they wanted to make me happy. Um, talk about going above and beyond the call of duty in a company as far as I'm concerned. If you can find a company out there that, that's willing to go further than that to make you happy, by all means, shout it out, put it down below, you know, let the world know because to me, when you're looking for a holster, that's one of the things that you should be looking for because firearms last forever. Not all of us are into, you know, I'm getting the coolest gun of the month and I'm going to use it for six months and then I'm going to trade it for the next coolest gun of the month. You know, not, not all of us are in that boat or want to be in that boat. So, um, to have a, a, a holster that you know, as long as you have your firearm, you're going to, you know, have a holster for it and you're never going to have to pay another dime because it's a basically, you know, no questions asked, basically. I mean, they do want a picture to make sure that, you know, it's not something that you purposely did, like you were trying to change the shape of it and you broke it type thing. They're, they're not going to cover that. That that wouldn't even be fair if you asked them to. I mean, that's what put craftsmen into the, into the ground. Um, <laughs> it, it is part of the reason why craftsmen went into the ground um, was because people were going out like and buying screwdrivers and taking a blowtorch to get a funky angle to get in somewhere and then taking the tool in the next day and exchanging it. Um, all kinds of different stuff like that was happening with tools and craftsmen with their no questions asked would just switch it out, switch it out, switch it out. Um, a company can't sustain that way. But if it's an honest on their end mistake or within that first month or 90 days of, you know, you purchasing it, it being a comfortability or isn't working for you type thing. Um, you know, I, I think that's more than fair, especially when it is their fault, how far they're willing to go to make it better. Uh, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough. I just wanted to, the, the whole reason I, actually I haven't rambled on long enough. The whole reason I'm bringing this up is, you know, these, this one right here, this is like a $10, $12 holster, right? No big deal. This one right here, it's like a $20, $25 holster. No big deal, right? This is a, um, this is a, uh, $80 holster, which is kind of a, a big deal. Now there are much more expensive holsters out there. I mean, this, this whole setup right here cost me over $140. Um, so this sits in that kind of sweet spot of not so expensive that you can't necessarily save up or afford it. And they do, um, for those of you who qualify, do a four month spread uh, deal um through one of their things on their website um so if you can't afford it all outright it's uh, interest free if i remember correctly don't quote me read it for yourself 
but I do believe it was interest free. Um, breaking it up into four and just to, uh, you know four easy payments for your holster um, or anything that you buy on the website. Um, I think that's pretty cool of them as well. Uh, the other reason I'm bringing up the holster right now is this is the week before Halloween of, so the week before October 31st um, of 2022. Uh, they are having a 20% off sale right now. Um, uh, it's going through the week. I'm not exactly sure on all, what all it covers. I just noticed it in my email. I get their, you know, mailers and, you know, what's going on in their company type thing. And they've got a 20% a off on holsters going on right now. So right now might be a good time to go in and check them out. You know, get a $80 holster for 65 bucks. Um, <clears throat> so on all of that, guys, uh, I hope I was helpful. I know I can ramble sometimes and even get stuck trying to get out on words like on here. Uh, but I appreciate you guys sticking through with me if you actually made it to the end. Um, so I'm not going to say much more. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And uh, this is the Penny Pinching Prepper telling you God's good and God bless. Have a wonderful day.